Hey there, fellas. So today we've prepared another cool little experiment for you. Here's the deal. Right here we have a set of cannons. Well, mufflers. As you can see, we have four of them in total. The idea is pretty simple. We're looking to make something along the lines of... Let's go ahead and call it the quietest exhaust in the world. Usually everybody's all about them droning and screeching systems. And sometimes they can even get pretty inventive. Some people do the straight pipe thing, while others put some kind of muffler in the back to make it burble and do other weird noises. But we'll be going about things in a different manner. Our goal is to make this as quiet as possible. Well, as we see it. Right, so we take all four... The point is that we're going to be fitting one muffler to each cylinder. So four mufflers, four cylinders, and in theory that should make for a pretty subdued system. But who knows what'll really happen. I say we install them and find out for ourselves. Let's do this. Four mufflers, one for each cylinder. Translation and voiceover by BMI Russian. Okay, so what have we got here? At this stage, you can see... We've got four pipes from the exhaust manifold pointing upwards. Wanna fire it up and take a listen? Let her rip, bro. I'm actually quite curious myself. Oh, shit. It is very loud! That's enough, shut it off, man. To hell with this. It is super loud. Though we did see some special effects. We saw it spitting out some flames and so on. Yeah, that was pretty cool. But standing next to such a car while it's running, I'm guessing that for the loud exhaust lovers, that'd be right up their alley. But as for me, I've got a ringing in my ears. Anyway, now that we've got separate runners coming out from each cylinder, there's really just one thing left to do. And that would be fitting individual mufflers, of course. Yeah, this should be pretty interesting. And here we are. Check out how we've got all four of these mufflers mounted. Each one a bit higher than the next. We've aimed them away from the driver, of course. So we've done everything properly. It looks a bit... Unusual, I guess. And now we get to the part where we test this setup. Okay, let's try this out. Wow, well, what can I say here? Now you can clearly hear the noise of the engine itself. It is very pronounced. 
Then again, you can hear the exhaust as well. It would seem that such a huge muffler fitted to such a tiny cylinder. I was expecting that we wouldn't hear a thing, at least from the exhaust. We're not running any sort of resonators, so the gases run straight into the mufflers. The system works, but there is something lacking. Start the car. While the engine's running at extremely low RPM, everything's just fantastic. On the upside, now we can check on how each cylinder is behaving. Take this one, for example. This is number one, right? It seems to be spitting out a bit of smoke for some reason. Give it some gas, will ya? Engine's too cold? I gather we're getting a ton of noise coming from that carburetor. It's coming from the carburetor, not the muffler. We should probably reinstall the air filter. Okay, so I'm not gonna be heading out onto the road, but I guess we can drive around nearby just to see how our neighbors react to seeing this. Yeah, let's do that. Seriously though, what's wrong with cylinder number one? Why is it... Or maybe I'm just seeing things and they're all contributing to that cloud of smoke. No, I don't think so. Right, here we go. Oh my god, what a view. Driving around with this kind of exhaust system is actually pretty unpleasant. Visibility is awful. Then again, I of all people should be used to all kinds of weird... What the? Yeah, everything else is also working beautifully. It's actually not that noisy. In reality, the motor is making most of the noise. The induction noise from the carburetor. The valve is whispering. It's definitely a different sound compared to a normal exhaust. That's hilarious. All right. This thing looks pretty damn striking when you park it outside. It is a pretty weird thing. I mean, this setup immediately catches your eye. And as luck would have it, there is nobody around. Where did everybody disappear? We were hoping to see some reactions. But, I mean, whatever. There was that lone grandpa, and his reaction was very telling. So, yeah, this system is actually pretty quiet. Though I wouldn't go so far as to call it completely silent. Still though, such a big muffler does a pretty good job muting just the one cylinder. I'm sure if we made a long exhaust tube, it'd be even quieter. But here the muffler is sitting very close to the engine block. The exhaust pipe between the two is very short. Plus, the separate pipes are all different length. Anyway, what matters is that this setup does get the job done. I guess you can call this a sort of engine organ, anyone? Eh, who even knows? Anyway, fellas, that's all I have for you. Watch us, hit that subscribe button, send in those comments and suggestions, give us a big thumbs up. All right, catch you later.